owned, cultivated, and ruled by a civilization of people existing upon its surface, harbors another civilization deep in its very core. Ruled by Zaldu, a despot, who, determined to break free of the confines of a subsurface kingdom, constructed a machine to blast a passage to the surface with the raging fires of the Earth's heart. But Flash Gordon, with the help of Dale Arden and Dr. Zarkov, destroyed the machine and escaped back to their subsurface ship, the Earthworm, before they were consumed by the fires that their own destruction unleashed. It was many months later when Dr. Zarkov, back in his laboratory at GBI headquarters, perfected a video machine capable of penetrating the Earth's stratus to determine just how great was the destruction in Zaldu's kingdom. Have you seen any signs of life down there, Dr. Zarkov? Not yet, Dale. The passages are clear. There's no signs of destruction at all. But that's impossible. Why, when we escaped, flames were licking at our heels, explosions breaking out, walls falling down. That's what's worrying me. Everything seems to have been cleaned up. Yet there's no sign of life. At this very moment, 1,500 miles inside the Earth's core, two of the strange creatures of this subworld gaze into a flickering screen. How much longer before I, Zaldu, can gaze upon the outer world? Forgive me, Martinus, but until I find a known magnetic channel to the surface, it isn't possible. I will wait no longer. I will see. Look. Hear this. The surface world. What are they? Surface people. Maybe they are another kind of surface people than those who come here. They move, but yet they stand still. Strange. Strange. And what is that which they stand in? And all of that surface behind them? It is another part of the surface world, you might imagine. It looks solid, as though one can walk upon it. Oh, I would see more of the surface world. I will conquer and rule. What can that be? I do not know, Your Mightiness. Even in my wildest dream of what is on the surface, did I imagine a sight like this. Why? All is in such order like the parts of a machine. The open corridors that lead from one place to another are like wires that go from one part of the machine to the other. And the things that move, can they be other surface people? But of all that I can see, nothing has a power that I need. I do hold in my hands. All that we look at, I can destroy once we blast through with the blasting fires of the Earth's core. I'm going to try and scan through the chambers to see if I can find the fire chamber where the blasting machine was located. If it's still there, I'll bet it's a mess. Dale, adjust the magnetic rectifier up four cycles, quickly. Up four cycles? What is it, Doctor? See for yourself. It's Zaldo's fire chamber. I can't understand it. We saw it destroyed with our own eyes. That sunlight whipping the slave. Did you recognize it? It's Zaldo's lieutenant. I thought surely he was dead too. If he lived through it, Zaldo could be alive today too. Well, if he is, Doctor, he won't rest until he's broken out and destroyed the surface people. Contact Flash and Commissioner Herrick on the intercom. Report what we've seen. Yes, sir. Oh, and tell them to check the seismograph readings. If Zaldu is ready to blast through to the surface again, there should be strong tremors, just as there were before. In the same vicinity, do you think? Mm, possibly. Probably. The volcanic fissure they found the last time would be the logical place for them to start. If they do start blasting, Doctor, what can we do to stop them? I was just coming to that. After you've talked to Flash and Herrick, contact the earthworm hangar. She's to be made ready for descent within the hour. Get me to GBI headquarters, please. So what it looks like, at least to Dr. Zarkoff and me, is that the subsurface men are getting ready to try another blast through to the surface. Dale, are you sure? 
After what we saw with our own eyes, the explosion, the fire. I can't believe it. Blast, there's no doubt about it. The fire chamber is still there and the blaster conduit rebuilt. There hasn't been any tremors showing up on the side more crap heavier than usual. Well, they haven't started blasting yet, but once they get the conduit over the fire hole, that's when it will show. Just a second, Dale. Alan, put the finder board on the subsurface. Let's see what the earth tremor patterns look like at the moment. Nothing shows, Dale, but small tremors. When does Dr. Zarkoff expect the blasting to start? How near ready are they? They're almost ready now. Come here, Dale, look. Call back, Flash. What's he trying to make that poor slave do? Place the conduit pipe over the fire hole. The fire seems so small, Doctor. There's not enough blasting power in that to burn through 1,500 miles of iron and rock. No, of course not, Dale. All we see are the flames that have forced their way through the damper opening. I was just wondering. Otherwise, the whole machine would blow up again. Within the pipe, they've constructed a small derrick. When the pipe is in place, they drop the derrick down, lift the damper, and let the full fire blast escape. We saw it work in reverse when we were in the fire chamber, remember? As we entered, the full force of the blast was shooting up through the conduit pipe. Flash pulled on the lever controlling the derrick, fighting the terrific pressure of the escaping flames. Slowly, he lowered it, until finally, the damper completely covered the fire hole. Now I understand. If we had left the damper open a bit, the machine would never have exploded. Exactly. What a horrible moment that was. The pressure building up so that we knew it would explode any second. While outside, the subsurface guards were trying to break through the door to save their king, Zaldu. And speaking of Zaldu, there he is in person, alive. By what miracle I can't imagine, but alive. And ready to give the order to burn through to the surface. Get Flash and Herrick back. The tremor should start again almost immediately. Get me Commissioner Herrick. Sir Norman Tremors. Any quake areas you haven't covered, Alan? No, sir. Herrick, yes? The conduit pipe is in place, Commissioner. Watch for major tremors to start almost immediately. Where? Your guess is as good as ours. Well, why don't you try the Oregon area where they tried breaking through before? Nothing, Dale. Just the roof is even quieter than usual. Maybe it's the calm before the storm. <laughs> Is there anything? Zaldu has just given the order to blast. Yes, Dale, yes. The strongest tremors we've ever registered. With a four-point quake like that, the entire area will be demolished. You're sure those wounds fueled up and ready to go, Dale? Yes, sir. We gave the order ten minutes ago. Tell Dale and Zarkov I'll meet them then. Okay. Flesh is on its way to the earthworm. But you and Dr. Zarkov wait for me. I want to see you before you take off. Okay, Commissioner. Oh. All evacuation. Lots of the red liners to the quake area. And uh, order every GBI trade trip within one hour flight time to sit down there and help pull those people out. Yes, sir. What is all that paraphernalia you're jamming into the bag, Doctor? Oh, a supply of anti-heat serum and plaster gel to protect us within and without. Three atomic demagnetizers, one for each of us. And a supply of oxygen concentrate tube in case we run into some poisoned air and have to use our space helmet. On a few more items, you'll be able to open up an electro-medical hardware store. <laughs> Just taking that ounce of prevention will allow us to keep that lovely face of yours alive and ever lovely. Thank you, sir. Now, where is this fewer gadget you've got? I want to see this little man's you for myself. Right over there, Commissioner. There'll be a good girl. Take that down to the ship for me, will you? I want to show Commissioner Herrick how this works. Oh, so long, Commissioner. I'll see you in Hades. Oh, the shoe's on the other foot, Dale. I'll be seeing you there. Touché. Bye. Good luck. Zaldu. Let me see this mighty Zaldu. From the glint in your eye, Commissioner, if looks could kill, you'd be our best weapon against Zaldu. Very funny. Is he there? Hmm. 
Not in the fire chamber. Let's see if he's in his throne chamber. Uh, there he is. That? That skinny worm-eaten corpse is Zoldu? That wants to conquer us? And can, Commissioner. In his hands, he holds a power that's greater than any weapon we possess. The power of the Earth's fiery core. If he can bring this fire to the surface, he will unleash it, enveloping the entire surface until the Earth is a ball of flame like the sun. Hey, he can really do this? Unless we can stop him, he will do this. I must go. We have no time to spare. Say, uh, isn't there some way I can hear what he's saying? I'm sorry, I didn't have time to hook up the audio. If you'll call Dr. Abner, he can have it working in an hour. Oh, wait, sir. Bye. And good luck. Water pressure, normal. Check. That's our chambers one, two, three, four, five, all full. That completes the checklist, Flash. Good. Now we're missing just one item, Dr. Zarkov. What's holding him up? He's introducing Commissioner Herrick to Zaldo. Hi, Doc. Hi. All set? Buckle in and we'll take off. Good. Let the joyride begin. Eric here. Any reports from the quake area yet? Almost total property damage, sir. Not a building left standing. Loss of life? No figures yet, sir, but it looks bad. Evacuation started? Yes, sir. The estimated will be cleared out within 12 hours. Well, keep me informed, will you? I'm in Dr. Sarko's lab. What, well, Doctor? Sarko's in order, sir. Turn on the audio. The surface men will come. Now that we have started blasting through, they will come, but they can't stop me. Nothing can stand between me and my ambition. I will have their lives for what they did to me. I will crush them with a weight as great as the whole world pressing down upon them. Contact the earthworm. Warn Flash that is digging right into a trap. Tell him to turn back right away. I... I can't, sir. We can contact them. What do you mean you can't? You must! But sir, try to understand. As the earth one drives through the straight, the friction is terrific. Now, so what? The friction creates a heavy electrostatic field around them that destroys every sound wave trying to penetrate it. We are completely cut off from them. Two pencils of light on a radar screen. One moving from the Earth's surface towards the kingdom of Zaldo in the core of the Earth. The other creeping from the core to the surface. The first light indicating a jet-propelled mechanical mole, piloted by Flash Gordon. The second light showing the progress of Zaldo's blasting operation to the Earth's surface. Look, the surface people drive closer and closer by the minute. We are ready for them. Nothing must go wrong this time, do you hear? Do you hear? All is in readiness. I have seen to it myself, your mightiness. Tell me, tell me what you have prepared. Tell me again, I must be sure, tell me. When surface ship reaches point plus one, we cease blasting operations to surface. That's my order. Go on. Then full power of earth fire will be channeled to magnetic activator in the chamber of iron. Yes, yes, then speak. The surface ship will be pulled into the chamber of iron yes. and locked into it electromagnetically. Yes. yes. Then I will have my revenge. All the fiery power of the earth core concentrated to crush them in a magnetic mine until they are dust. <laughs> Our last possible chance to warn them. Gone. What do you mean? I was hoping that when they reached the subsurface world and stopped, we could get through to them. Of course. The electrostatic field that is isolating them now would be no more, and our radio wave could get through. But now the magnetic activator will isolate them too. It is hopeless. We'll flash out of the way. 
with no other means of deciding to stop Saldo, he can blast his way out. And heaven help us, there's no weapon that can stop him from destroying us. 1,920 kilometers. Outside temperature? 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Hmm. Perfectly normal. Timing and exhaust blast in good order in all jet chambers. This has turned into a joyride. What a contrast to our last trip to the Earth's core. What's your plan when we get there, Flash? I know one thing. Zaldo's not going to stop blasting just because we ask him to. There's only one thing to do, Dale. Capture Zaldo himself and bring him to the surface. Then try to find someone in the subsurface kingdom who is willing to rule and live in peace with us. That won't be an easy job. Capturing Zaldo, I mean. I've got a plan, Doctor. I can steer a direct course into Zaldo's chamber. We can take him by surprise. Yeah. What am I trying to do? It's no Strange. All jet chambers working perfectly. We veered 20 degrees. As far as I can see on a fast check, there's nothing wrong with the earthworms. That means with a power even stronger than our anti jet motors is pulling us into... I don't know what. Please! Please, go out of this. The air feed point one. The air feed third by the magnetic activators. It is as I wish. It is as I wish. See? The Earth fire is now kindled to the magnetic activator in the chamber of iron. The chamber of iron. That will be soon that chamber of death. Yes. Commissioner Herrick, the tremors have stopped. I know, I know. But they'll start again, Ellen. Very soon. And worse than ever. Don't stop evacuation. Poor Flash. Dale. That's a Sarkov. And soon. Poor us. Even at this moment, 
No living thing could move a finger. Engineers to redirect the firepower to the escape chance. This time, nothing can stop us. Go, go, do as I order. And now, now I will taste my remains. I will see what is left of these miserable surface people. And not even their dust in this land. <laughs> this is mine now. With this, shall do the mighty will ride and triumph to the surface. And sooner than you think, Zalman, old boy. But you can't be alive. There's a distrusting man for you. Can't even believe his own eyes. I think you deserve an explanation, Zaldo. You see, I knew you wouldn't try and destroy us with heat again. Our plasto gel defeated that try the last time. So he prepared us for your attempt to crush us with magnetic force. Next to heat. The greatest power in this subsurface world is your magnetized iron. <laughs> I thought that somehow you would try to use it against us. Lucky for us, you brought these astro-demagnetizers along, Dr. Zarkov. I won't say better luck next time, Zaldo. You won't have one. But now you have a parting message to send to your subject. It's short and sweet. Tell him to turn off the fire blaster. Or oh, the mighty Zaldo will be mighty sorry. Attention. Attention. This is Zaldo the mighty. I order you to turn the fire from the surface channel. Do as I order. <laughs> <laughs> 